everyone, and welcome back to Chata Plays Factorio, the tutorial series. Um, so today we're going to be going over three main things that we need to move on to the next step. As you see off camera, I've done some more research, and we're pretty much finished up with only our red science ones. I think I got like one or two more to go. Two, I think. Um, so that means we're going to need to be making green science, and to make green science, that requires inserters. But to make inserters, we need the three part factory we researched last time, as well as electronic circuits. And then electronic circuits are copper and iron. So we're going to go ahead and start setting that up first. Just going to be using pretty standard setup. I got some fast inserters crafting because I want to be making these as fast as possible. Uh, this is going to be one of those things that we put on four lines um, as well. Uh, you'll also notice that we now have steel uh, coming down our main belt and I'll show you that in a second. Looks like... Do we got anything left? Nope, we are all done with red research for right now. Uh, as you see there's steel coming down uh, I set up like a quick little uh, setup here that's pretty much tileable just depending on how fast your out outside belts are so later on we're going to be taking this and just expanding it straight downwards until we have enough steel on our lines. I just set something up really quick uh, so that we wouldn't uh, be sidetracked by it in the episode so I'm going to go ahead and make some uh, steel picks as well because those are a lot faster at making or picking stuff up. Uh, as you can see, I haven't evened out the belts or anything, uh, so it's just going to go. Um, but as for uh, green circuits, uh, like I said, we're going to need copper cables. We need three of those for one iron plates. So, and these only, they, they don't take much to, or how, they don't take that much time to craft anyways. Uh, so what we'll be doing is we'll be making three copper cables, uh, factories and that'll go into two green circuit factories because that's the ratio that you'll need for those to keep full throughput uh, and then it becomes a modular uh, tileable setup uh, so to be doing that uh, we will go down here and then let's make sure I got this far enough down this time this one's kind of too close up to the main belt so we'll have our three copper cable factories going into two and you want to make sure that these two overlap with those three uh, so your inserter setup is going to be like this or you can space it out however you want it really doesn't matter that much some more of those made um, so and then the other great thing about this is since the copper is now on the outside you can just run a single copper belt down and then set these up for green and then you'll need to run iron down the middle. So our copper belt will come in right here. And then our iron belt we'll need for those will come in right here. And then our output's gonna be right there. And then the great thing about this is that you can mirror it to another side. I'm not gonna go ahead and do that right now. I'm just gonna have one belt going in and we're gonna tile it sideways. Uh, so we do that and then put a space here so that you can uh, fit your electronics or actually now nah, I can I can fit it in there so one two three and then again just have them overlapping like that then one two three oh, that was too high up and then overlapping so we'll go ahead and get all these set up and just remember if you don't you can shift right click and that selects that factory and then it will copy it into each consecutive one you uh, click while holding shift. Uh, so we're gonna put our inserters down. Just make that look a little clearer. Let me do that. Make that go there. All right, and we just continue our belt. Uh, this one again is gonna be for iron right here. This one is going to be our output. Oop. Don't need that much for output. Come on, get on through there. Okay, there we go. And we'll have our copper coming in. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. 
Alright, so now we just gotta get all the lines hooked up. So how we do that from our main bus here is we're gonna stop moving everywhere would be nice. Boom, just like that. Gotta go like that. And I'm obviously out of splitters, so I'm gonna get some more copper too. Just in case. Gotta wait for those splitters to make really quick. Uh, but we'll move that there, and then I want to make sure that that splits up there, and then after that as well. That way the belts stay even, and if uh, the bottom one gets completely emptied, that top one will be uh, feeding this setup as well. Later on I'll probably move it down to these, but uh, while we're waiting on that, we're going to need to make some room here. And then I'll just go over those right there, but I'm just going to need a bit of room to get over that. We're actually going to want to split iron off about right here, so. Let's just do that. Actually, that's the one we're going to be pulling from, so I don't need that one there. And go forward. going down perfectly. So get that run. And we're going to need our three splitters up here. Boom. So that pulls it off of this belt and off of that belt technically. Uh, let's see, that one runs in this outside. And then we will go underneath this as far as possible. And boom. Now we just got to hook the power up and we'll have green circuits and the power setup on this one is kind of goofy so just bear with that basically just make sure that everything is covered uh, so that you have power on everything Boom. I think we're good there now I just need to hook up the main line of the power and we're set so I'll pop up here middle oh. all right and we have power so green circuits should be being produced now we need a couple of red inserters to put everything on that belt so as you see copper cable produced very fast half a second to produce two uh, from one copper plate and then that goes into the electronics which take half a second as well uh, so your main throughput issue is usually going to be the copper cables. Uh, if they're not getting in fast enough, you can't make them fast enough kind of thing. I uh, need to make sure to add iron in because I forgot about that. And then we'll be cooking. Add all that there. Boom, 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 boom. Come in and add our power cable. We should be good to go. And as you see, green circuits just start cranking on out. But they're only on the one side of the belt, so we're going to be mirroring this as well. Uh, but I'll do that off camera a little bit later. And so we're going to want to leave one space. And then now green circuits are technically on our main bus. I'll set that. I was going to say, am I missing copper? Yes. Pulled it up a little. A lot of belts. I'm actually going to be needing to grab some more belts. Let's just go grab 800 of them. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have the green circuits taken care of, we can do a whole bunch of uh, like quality of life things so to speak. Uh, I can pre-make inserters. Uh, I can pre-make factories now as well. Uh, it's basically the same thing as everything else. Just figure out the ratio or if you just want to have one machine making them at whatever speed that's fine. Usually you don't need that many as you go on. 
Um, you can make uh, lamps. You can make offshore pumps if you need to. Electric mining drills we will be automating because you'll need a lot of those. Uh, steel axes are nice because the mining power does increase um, and it does more damage as well. Uh, durability is also higher, but it does mine a lot faster. Uh, you can also automate repair packs if you're needing those for your base a lot. Uh, and then we can get into automating uh, some other things as well later on. Uh, one of them being you need inserters for green science. So that's the first thing that we're going to automate is the inserter production. So we'll need electronic circuits, iron gear wheels, and iron plates. And we'll also need iron to make the transport belts for the green science packs. So I'm also going to need more splitters. Going to pick some more stuff up. <laughs> yum yum vacuum. And as you see, that just fills right back up because we got the splitter set up back there balancing all the belts. Minus the fact that that one... Okay, I don't, I don't know why I did that. <sighs> I forgot to split this off. One second. I gotta wait for these uh, splitters to finish up. Let's do this instead. Yay, spaghetti! As you can see, our steel steel is filling up slowly, but it's plenty for what we're going to need it for until I start ammo production. And at that point, I'll be expanding it. Uh, so the first thing that we're going to produce, I usually set up the transport belts first, followed by the inserters. It just makes it a little easier. Uh, with these ratios as well, so you need one and one and these take 0.5 seconds and these take 0.5 seconds so you can basically just use one factory of each of these uh to keep them up to snuff for i think it's six factories yeah no 12. you can make 12 green science factories for each uh, one that you have produced. So I'm actually going to go over a little bit because I'm going to be adding that green science uh, And I'm actually going to put this one up top here uh, So we're going to want let's just say we're ending uh, transport belts there and We're going to have our main belt that's going to feed our green science factories and then we're going to have our inserters right there. So this one we're going to want to set up as transport belts and this one's inserters. So for this one we're going to need green circuits, gears, and iron plates and we're going to need gears and iron plates for this one as well. So we're going to put separate factories for the gears here. I'm actually going to put these down here. Since this one also needs iron plates, we'll have iron plates running up right here. And we'll have iron plates running up right here because this one needs iron plates as well. Have uh, this one set as gears. gears. And then on this side over here, we will also need green. So I'm going to go ahead and split this guy off. I have these going underground. Because we don't actually need to make the green circuits for any of this since they're going to be on our main bus. We'll just si siphon them off of the main bus. Let's go up. And we're going to need a splitter on this guy. Go there, there, boom. And that was probably the easiest one to do. <laughs> so on this guy, and that go there, that go there, that go there. So we should get everything. That's fine. That needs to. Okay, that that'll be fine. Just one inserter like that. Um, and then we'll have each of these being on the opposite sides of the belt to feed our 12 factories up here, which I'm short on. So, so this one, and a 
I'll space these out so that I can fit uh, poles in between them. Six, two, four, five, six. Alrighty. That one goes up into the inside there, and this will come from, for right now I'm just going to hook it up like this, um, and then later on I will fix this. This is just kind of for demonstration purposes so that you can see how it works. Then we're going to need that guy there, and I'm actually going to put, oh, we don't need, yeah, that's what I meant to do. Then we'll need power, 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 power. Sorry, um, I'm back now. So uh, then these will feed into the green science factories here. So we select green science again, shift clicking all of these to do this the fast way. And we'll have that pull one inserter is plenty. Uh, since these take six seconds to craft to pull in all the materials needed. Uh, missed an inserter there. And this one I'm going to have feed down and into the Rotom bus. So. Take that. Cross there. I'm actually going to just do this so that it's on one belt. And then we can bring it over. Actually, uh, one second. Got to go grab some more belts. Always running out. I think in this playthrough alone we've gone through at least 500 belts just laying all this down. So that's why you want to have them automatically producing for you at a very rapid pace. This guy come in there. And we'll split that so it's like that. And then we'll have our green science feed onto that separate belt there once it feeds. Now I just gotta put the last remaining inserters on. We should be good to go for green science and that'll set up pretty much the next episode uh, we'll be working on uh, defense and everything uh, so that uh, we can learn how to deal with the biter menace that has appeared okay now I'm just power all this up okay. all that connected I'm just gonna put one just to make sure Boom, 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 boom. Okay, so those will start going to town. And then these guys just bring up like this. Actually, I could have done that. I don't know why I didn't. Hmm. Would have been nice to not have put that there. So fix that. Yeah, I know the wires are a mess. We will uh, fix all that later. So as you can see, we have transport belts and inserters, uh, and then those are produced into green science. And as you see, we have plenty of transport belts cranking out. Uh, they crank it. Seem to be cranking out a little faster than. Looks like we're short on gears here. For some reason, so let's double that up. So that is cranking full tilt now. I think it's because no, it only requires one. Why is that so much slower? That doesn't make any sense.
repair is what we're going to do because I don't want that to be slow this entire time. Put a quick little addition of iron here so that it's cranking out enough gears. Don't know why it's doing that. I mean, it's still going full speed, but it, for some reason it's going slower than that. Oh, okay. I totally forgot that transport belts craft for two instead of this crafting for one. So if you wanted to fix that, you could, but it's not really needed. As you can see, uh, it's getting down to the end of the line to those factories. So not really that big of a deal. Uh, first thing we're going to research is going to be military two to get that piercing ammo and grenades. And that about wraps it up for this episode, guys. Uh, if you liked the video, make sure to hit the like button. If you're not subscribed to the channel, hit that subscribe button for me. Help out the channel. Uh, get us some more viewers. Make sure to like the video again. Uh, hope you have a great day. See y'all later. Bye.